Yo, so what's going on? Battlefielders back on Op925 right now, rocking that Scar L with the grip and red dot sights. How I like to use the weapon when I actually do use it. And I want to talk a little bit about the weapon, and uh, before we hop into the topic, the random commentary, that pornography for the day, I want to talk about this gun. Now, a lot of people have been telling me about how amazing and how impressive this is. This gun is basically tits in the mind of so many people. And <laughs> I don't understand. Your version of tits are just ugly, saggy boobies. I don't understand why so many people are, you know, crazy about it. This gun is not boner approved, guys. This gun is mediocre at best, in my opinion. Um, it's a little bit more reliable than some of the weapons with range. I will give it that. Um, it's about as reliable as, like, the G3A3 with range. But in close range and medium range, I don't think it keeps up with the M16A3, the AEK, yeah, the G3A3 should poop on this weapon. This should just be another weapon that a lot of people are going to kind of forget about. And it's weird because when I started using it, a lot of people were really, really were ball hugging the hell out of this gun. Like, this gun is like that new shiznit. It's the new hotness. And I was, like, eager to try this gun out because this is the last one I unlocked. So I was like, man, I must have saved the best for last or something. I was getting all, you know, schoolgirly. And I was like, oh, my God, so cute and handsome. And in reality, it had buck teeth or some shit. And hairy, hairy, hairy nipples. It was just horrible. And... I started thinking to myself a little bit, like, oh, where, where was this appeal that everybody was talking about? Where was this uh, super cool swag this gun had? And I haven't found it yet. I mean, it's a good weapon. Don't get me wrong. It's, 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 it's on par. It's better than some of those. But even, like, the new ACWR, I think, is better than this weapon. And it just may be from experiences. I've used it, I don't know, five, maybe ten games. And I don't know. I spent a couple hours using the weapon, and I don't see what everybody's talking about with this weapon. I would honestly use the AEK M16A3. ACW, the, you know, half of the new weapon, the G3A3, I would probably use the AUG over this weapon. And I, I, I don't know. I mean, I guess they're on par. The AUG is a little bit more better at close range, where this is a little bit better at long range, and they're both about on par with each other at medium range. So I guess it's preference, but I just honestly don't know. I mean, do some of you guys really think this is the best gun? I mean, do you have anything to back that up other than just experience? Because actually, that's all you really need. Don't let my harsh words and insults to this weapon pull you away from what's right. I do feel there are better weapons, and I'm actually positive there are better weapons than this gun out there, so, I mean, but if you have, like, some crazy chemistry with a weapon, you know what, girl, you do your thing. Do whatever you want with it. Have some fun. But anyways, we're going to top into our... Oh my god, I'm not even ready for this topic. I went on to Twitter today because my dumbass thought it was Thursday, so I thought I was able to just hop on and do the real talk on the commentary topic I already knew. And instead, I found it's Wednesday. I mean, I lost track of days after I dropped out of high school. That's like five years ago. I don't know the days, the dates, the months. If I'm in China right now, I don't know anything. After high school, I forgot everything. Spanish, everything, man. So, I'm sitting here, and uh, I tweeted out something, and the guys gave me a topic. There were tons of topics. Most of the people wanted me to talk about boobs. That's why I love you guys. The other rest of you guys were, like, trying to get me to insult some other commentator or something, and that's why I love you guys. And then there was one guy <laughs> that actually gave a pretty decent topic. And I'm like, you know what? You're that 1%. And I'm going to choose you, Mr. Guy. So I chose the topic of long-distance relationships. And if, uh, you know, my opinion on them and anything else I basically want to talk about. Um, now, long-distance relationships are just a succubus kind of reason thing. I find that people do long-distance relationships because they're desperate or they're afraid to be hurt. Um, it's like a it's like a comfort thing. I think when people get involved in a long distance relationship, it's because they're scared to get hurt or maybe hurt again, and it's easier that way. There's less to worry about, less concern, less um, having to be present when you're just completely you know. There's less vulnerability when you're doing it that way, but there's also more fear. I think there, there's more concern. Is he actually cheating on me? Has he got some big titty old Filipino woman? Is, is he is he tearing them up? And, and you don't know. You really don't know. I mean, so there's also the curiosity, the fear, the concerns, because you're not actually there witnessing what's going on. But, I mean, people can be sly and cheat on you and shit like that in real life, too. So, I mean, I honestly, I don't know. But, and, and I can't say anything. I've, I've been a victim of this, of this shit, too. I was in a long-distance relationship for two years when I was a young kid. I was grounded, though. So all I could do was play Unreal Tournament. I met this girl when I played it, and we were kind of, like, together for, like, two years. And, and it does give you a difference. It gives you... It lets you dive into the person and the personality rather than lust or, you know, you know, physical attraction being there. And, I mean, that's something that you can find later on. But connecting on a personal or emotional level is something that's cool to be able to do a long distance. That's also appealing to a lot of people. And 
just because he fell in love with your, you know, personality or vice versa does not mean he's going to do this. Now, this has become an epidemic. This has become like some crazy ass breakout. We're worried about zombie apocalypse. No bitches with Facebook and everything out there. All these women are going heads over heels over these guys. I mean, relationships over Xbox Live. I think that's fucking crazy. Get some pussy in real life, guys. I mean, it's like, it's not that hard. And the biggest fucking excuse I see from every goddamn female in the world right now, every status right now, is every woman's probably guilty of this, is I can't find any nice men around me. You know how many, I, I've heard a woman from every county in the fucking United States said that there's no decent men around me. You know what, bitches? You know what? Suck it up. That's just seriously how it is. You're not looking. You're spending your time on Facebook. Your ball's deep in your cell phone. You're not looking for a damn guy. You just want some attention, bitch. And you're not going to get it. Look at this guy cock blocking my doorway. And I think it's crazy. So I think all these long-distance relationships and people hooking up. You know, I, I started kind of talking to my wife over Facebook. Actually, I think it was MySpace. Yeah, it's been a little bit. Um, I don't remember which one, but... We started talking over that. I mean, we met each other in real life, and then we kind of, like, talked there. It was, you know, it's, it's basically the same thing as texting, but when you're looking for a suitor or something like that, online, that's just crazy. You, you leave yourself up, you leave vulnerable, and I don't, I don't think it's smart to do that. Because most people get in a situation where they can't afford to go see the other person, so then they're stuck in a long-ass relationship, and every status and every update and every tweet is, Oh, man, I wish the United Kingdom was closer. And I'm like, bitch, you knew what you were getting into before you got into it. Damn, that turned into a rant. Am I an asshole? Let me know down in the description below. A nice little puckery, cute little shaved asshole.